great looking side there. Riolo, fullback and captain. Carriage, Horville, Simon playing against his brother, as Terry said. Jonathan Britton, Trent Barrett, keep your eye on him. Great young player. Glenn Eyre, another one as well, good player. Adam Bristow, Jaron Bradstreet, Mia David, Scott England, Brad Heppy, and Robbie Beasley. Very good lineup, as I mentioned. Illawarra are on somewhat of a roll. They had to win their final three games of the regular season just to make the playoffs. They did that. Once again, it is sudden death. So, Mario Fettick for Illawarra, they've been playing sudden death rugby league for the past four weeks. Your referee is Eddie Ward. So they're used to the pressure. They won't be feeling it. Lux of fortune in rugby league. It's a sudden death match now. As you mentioned, Illawarra have been through southern, sudden death over the last three weeks. Now the Roosters are, f are faced with a situation where if they don't perform, they're gone. And they have been one of the best sides in reserve grade all year. Just about set for kickoff. Eddie Ward blows time on. Here we go. So proceedings now underway. Reserve grade. This is elimination semi-final. It is... The Steelers up against the Roosters. There's Shane Ware. It goes into the dummy half position and goes for a gallop himself. The former Stall Gift and Botany Bay Gift winner. Professional rugby league player, a professional runner. That's Darren Maroon, a former South Sydney player. I played with Darren Maroon. He's a South Sydney junior. Very good, solid player, Darren Maroon. A lot in the top grade is Darren Maroon. Now the, the deep kick for Riolo, a wealth of experience. The skipper for the Illawarra Steelers also. So Riolo takes it forward about some 25 metres out from his own try line. Paul Carriage tries to make 10 yards, or 10 metres, I should say. Nil all the score line. Reserve grade action live. It's a funny feeling when you're playing a game like this. I've played in a number of games that are sudden death, and you really have to contemplate. Your, your season comes down to one game. Beasley. You, you really it. do your own, you, your very best. Beasley plays it now. Near David. I think that's Heppy. Heppy. Same haircuts. <laughs> Illawarra move it to the right now. Eager to spread the ball wide. Barrett. David standing wide. Now they're into a little bit of space, the Steelers. Michael Byron. In fact, that was Craig Simon, brother of John, trying to get through. Trent Barrett. We saw him score a sensational solo try. Trent Barrett against Newcastle last week. They'll run it. There's numbers. Good play. Bristow back inside. David. The ball now. Paul Carriage strolls across for the Illawarra Steelers to open the try scoring account. Very good set of six by Illawarra, resulting in a nice early try. Only about five minutes gone in the game. Look at the nice width of these passes. This pass here, David goes through and have a look at that for a pass. A front row, who said front rowers can't pass? <laughs> Beautiful pass. By Son of Billy Bradstreet. Strikes it. He strikes the ball well, but it's away to the left-hand side of the uprights, John Peard, but a great start for the Steelers. Yeah, we just might see it. 16, there's Napoli came out of the line. Now, look at him dragging the defence across Bristow. He knew what he was doing, but David was intelligent enough to realise his legs weren't going to carry him there. They're too short and too chunky, but <laughs> Carriage got there. Carriage. He's got away with words, John Pearce. Certainly he has. Taking it forward, Brian Fletcher, the lock forward for the Roosters. He gets to within 18 metres of the try line. Got some numbers out on the right-hand side of the field. Quick hands by Allen, the fullback. There's now, six more tackles, Terry. Six more tackles. Deary. John Deary. Deary's going to go over for the Roosters. It came from nothing. Well, but John Deary picked up the loose ball and got through some feeble Steelers defence to score and level the scores. Four points apiece. Oh, this will be six points to four. Well, John Deary. The Roosters mounting this try out of absolutely nothing. In fact, it was a loose ball. John Deary, not a whole lot of him, 21 years of age. He joined the Roosters in 1995. He actually played with St. George. A simple one-on-one -on -one missed tackle. Eastern Suburbs back in it. There it is, six points to four. They're the back Roosters. in front. The Roosters jump here by six points to four. 
Simon calling the shots back on the inside. Ostini. Now they're set up to the right hand side through the hands of John Simon. Lurking out there. Duckworth. Ben Duckworth brought down eight meters out from the line. Robert Mears goes into the dummy half position. Now Simon again running off him. Great try by the Roosters. Under the post they go. Brian Fletcher goes over for the Roosters. And now they're in front by 10 points to four. Great pass by John Simon to Fletcher. John Simon, a great little pass. Just a nice short pass. And Fletcher runs into the hole. Here it is here. Just takes a step back in. See, tries to draw to the defence. Terrible miss there by Adam Bristow. Yeah, a little while. I've got nobody to blame but themselves. Two silly penalties. The first one was by Heppy. And then the next one, another high tackle. I thought it was quite uh, innocuous, but Eddie Ward's patience has been worn down. That's the danger of John Simon near the line. He pulled uh, he pulled a player in, I think it was Byron in, and just put a short ball off his shoulder to uh, Fletcher. But uh, those uh, indiscretions by the Steelers uh, accounted for probably 80 metres of uh, tough <coughs> grass. Steve up against Kerrod and Kevin. There's Mears. Good little run from dummy half by Mears. We've only got a minute and a half before half time. The Roosters content to just control the football. Simon stepping back off his right foot. And Mears puts the bomb up on this occasion. Probably not a bad ploy. Now six to go for the Roosters. No need to panic. One minute on the clock. That's about the perfect time for an easy set of six. Mears drives for the try line. Can't get there. In fact, it's a penalty. A real bonus for the Roosters. They should shoot for goal here. That'll make it 14-4 at half time. They missed nice. one. That's impressive. There's the goal. That's impressive record for the for the uh, Roosters. One tackle missed. Joe Thomas will be happy with that. He certainly will be because the Sydney City Roosters lead the Illawarra Steelers by 14 points to four at half time here. Sudden death, reserve great action live on Sports Australia. We'll come back to the stadium after this short break. Welcome back to the Sydney Football Stadium. We're at half time at the moment in reserve grade, sudden death, plenty of rugby league coming your way on Optus Vision over the weekend. Don't forget Sunday, 11 a.m., the President's Cup major semi final, Parramatta up against the Steelers. Great action in the President's Cup, the under 21s competition, and also reserve grade semi final action. Now, this will be a grudge match here. The Crushers up against the Broncos, sudden death. Reserve grade semi-final action. Plenty of feeling between the two clubs. And Sunday night rugby league, don't forget also. First grade semi-finals, Cronulla up against Brisbane and Sydney City up against St George. Well, uh, in the Illawarra room, where of course the most concern is, uh, the coach Andrew Farrer uh, realises and he's told his team they've tripped themselves up and they've got to play their way out of this. Uh, Errors obviously got a mention because of the... Uh, the extreme case of uh, those two errors in a row uh, creating an opportunity for Eastern Suburbs. And also to put pressure on John Simon, both his runners and his kicking game. So that's an area that, that Illawarra really want to shore up on. Uh, in the other room, they were fairly happy with their performance today, but uh, with no relaxation uh, in mind, of course. The six tackle players were a worry for Joe Thomas. He said to keep an eye on Glen Eyre, then he's not necessarily going to kick, and we must make sure our defensive line stays as one. And that's about all from the dressing rooms, Terry. Petey, when you were in the dressing rooms, you probably missed that the um, most telling stat, missed tackles Illawarra 10, the Roosters 1. So obviously, Andrew Farrow would like that tighten up a little bit now. Trent Barrett kicks on the last tackle here. Over to the wing of Werrett. Just a nothing kick by Barrett. He's, at, he's, he's Oh, there's a mistake there. Well, that's what they want, the Steelers. And Mia David on the spot to pick it up. This could be their chance. Well, they've got to make a good start to the second half. Illawarra, they've won plenty of tight matches over the last four weeks. In fact, they went to extra time against Newcastle last Friday night at Parramatta Stadium and appealing for the quick play the ball, the Steelers. Now, through the hands. Goes forward. A little bit high, that tackle... 
is ruled. Free Eddie Ward will call him out. Very strong. Their defence, and this gives you an idea that they really respect the Eastern Suburbs' defence because one mass tackle, they'd rather have a shot at goal. Steelers, they grab that extra two points, so now it's 14 points to six. Illawarra, slowly but surely, Mario, creeping a little bit closer. Yeah, still eight points behind the Roosters. Simon, in fact. Now this is Barrett. Gaviglio. Steelers making heavy weather of it at the moment. Battling to get up over the halfway line. Now they do so. In fact, they're straight through the Illawarra Steelers. Beasley made the initial break. Great run by Beasley. Showed plenty of pace too. Here they go, blindside. So great break by Beasley. Cut out pass. They're going to score again. Carriage. It's been uh, called back by referee Eddie Ward. Yeah, I, I suspected it was forward too. It just drifted forward. Here it is here. Eddie Ward right on the spot again. He's had a great game, Ward. Oh, that's definitely forward. Unlucky for the Steelers. Now they've got to start turning this possession into points now. The Steelers have had a, a, a mile of possession. They Glenn. just can't get over the line. Glenn Eyre, cut out pass. Riolo. Taps the ball forward, does David Riolo. And makes another good 10 Great ball. Great offload on that occasion by Riolo for Bradstreet. Last tackle. Can the Steelers score this time? It's on out wide. Barrett, cut out pass. Here goes Two. So Paul Carriage crosses for his second try, the 19-year-old. And the Illawarra Steelers get to within four points now, the Roosters. Here it is here, the replay. They had a very good line up to the right. Nice flat passes. This ball here is a beauty. Nice wide pass. And there's Simon there on the carriage, just into the corner there. Oh, they're back in at the Steelers. They've converted the possession into points. 14 points to 10. They've got a shot at goal wide out. Here it is here again on the right. Oh, look at that for a pass. That's a beautiful pass. Barrett to Simon to Carriage. Carriage, one hand, puts it down. They've started the second half pretty well, the Steelers. They've had plenty of ball, Murray, and I'm sure it's a great relief to their coach and Andrew Farrar. I reckon he'll kick it there. He's a two to one chance to kick it. Two to one. Have Get a over. with me. He struck it magnificently, but oh. it is away. And getting a dollar out of Mario Fennick John Keane <laughs> will not be easy. Yeah. Well, obviously, Eastern Suburbs, uh, with a lot of injured players, uh, probably looking for a little bit of sympathy, but they won't get much from the Saints, will they? No, they won't get any sympathy. We've been concerned about what we're in Oh, the Steelers! On. And that's right, right. on his way to the try line. Back on the inside. They've kept it alive. Super play. Barrett goes over. Trent Barrett. The initial break by Glen Eyre. What a try! And Trent Barrett was there, backing up on the inside to cross for his second try. Here it is here, Glen Eyre cuts straight through. What a player he's been. Back inside. Good, great passing here by the Steelers, and they're backing up everywhere. There's Eyre there. Lovely ball inside. Little hint of a forward pass there. You saw the big fist go up by Trent Barrett. He scored his second try in the space of seven days as Trent Barrett, both in the semi finals. This is sudden death, and now the Illawarra Steelers have tied the ball game up at 14 points apiece. The kick to come, they should kick it. Glen Eyre streaking down the sideline, back inside, and there's Barrett. Isn't he, isn't he happy about that? That'll take the Steelers to the lead. We've got a ball game on our hands. Old Trent Barrett and now Bradstreet. Directly in front. He breaks the deadlock. There's Darren Bradstreet. And Petty, the Steelers, back in front. Yeah, look at this 40. play. I mean, East defensive line looks reasonably comfortable, but the winger didn't move up and the outside centre, Deary. That's where the problem occurred, but some really neat play here. That was a good inside pass by Purcell. Bradstreet did well. Johnny Simon just didn't read it. Glenn Eyre's in the movement for the second time. Riolo got the ball away in the tackle here. That was a good effort. 
And of course, Trent Barrett finishes it off. That's good play by the Steelers. They're on a bit of a roll at the moment. Great opportunity now for the Steelers. A scrum about 15 metres out from the Roosters line. If they can score here, that'll be the ball game. And a chance for the Steelers to seal this game up. Through they go. Riolo, awfully close to getting around his man. Now they go. This time through Horgan. Good run by Brandon Horgan. Horgan. He got close to scoring. They got numbers on the right hand side. They need a big long pass. Glen Eyre couldn't get one away. Came back to the middle of the field. They continue to go on the right hand side. Look out. Time is over. David Cox, the big number 36 for the Steelers, Ooh. comes off the bench and comes up with the try. Well, that's the ball game. David Cox. Here he is here, just charged straight through them. A couple of silly missed tackles. There's Wood there. Wooden Simon, I think. Wooden Simon. Oh, the halves have missed the tackle there. Just grabbing tackles. You've got to put your shoulder into these tackles to stop these players. And Cox wraps up the ball game for the Steelers. They're walking the tightrope, but they're alive again. They are, and it looks like they're going to continue to advance the Steelers. This kick is crucial. This will put uh, the Steelers out of reach. Here it goes. Oh, right it. between the posts. 22 points to 14, John Peard. What a turnaround. Yes, they've just dropped uh, right off the pace, East. Look at their slide defence there. Now, this is the lead-up work for this try. This bloke's been... Giving them problems all day, Glen Eyre. Here's the play, the ball. They're still about eight metres out from the goal. And look at East defence, a little bit slow. Forming, but there's no, there's no excuse for that. Nathan Wood involved there, but that was a really... Now the Roosters. They will not give up. Six minutes and 40 seconds remaining in this game. Disappointing for Coach Joe Thomas. Here goes Werrick. Werrick with a little bit of space. He gets around his man, heads for the corner. Riolo, great covering tackle. Oh, well that, he's penalised Riolo. Have a look at this replay. I don't know how he could penalise him here. Well, I think where it may have stayed in the field of play here. No it's way. It's play on by the Roosters. Keep an eye on the replay. They're through the Roosters. Half a gap. Ramika loses the ball. He's over the line there. Eddie Ward, he was incorrect on that occasion. The Roosters now have got a couple of good uh, chances. They need to score now. Believe it or not, the game could be still on. Well, the game is still alive. The fat lady is just warming the voice up <laughs> at the moment. She hasn't <laughs> sung. Hey, that's not bad for you. Thank you. Oh. Six minutes to go. It's almost funny. 22 to 14. Now the man, Nathan Wood, with the tap. They cut out Ramika. They go to Simon. Allen back on the inside. Great defence. That is Deary. John Deary who scored the opening try for the Roosters. Allen involved. Fletcher, the lock forward. They need to score now. Nathan Wood at dummy half. Allen gets the pass away. They're over the Roosters. The big, long, stretched out hand. The Roosters go over. I think that's Ben Duckworth that scored that try. And it's come at the oh, crucial time. Here it is here on the replay. Allen, nice long flat pass. It is Duckworth. It's Duckworth. He stretches over a former Illawarra player himself. He keeps the Roosters in it. Here's the pass here. Beautiful pass. And just brute force forces Duckworth over. He reaches out. And they're back in at the Roosters. I thought I said it was all over. I put the mock on the Steelers. <laughs> His tries for the day. It's waved away. While still John Peard, the Steelers. Three and a half minutes left before the full-time hooter. There's Duckworth there. Hasn't he had a good game, Duckworth? He has. He's been involved in everything. Ben Duckworth, a former Steeler himself. Now, John Simon, he's the man who can turn the game. Allen, where Look out! Where it chips ahead, the ball, plenty of Steelers there. The Roosters lost by just one point last week to Auckland. The crowd count down in the background. Two seconds left. Byron takes the tackle for the Steelers. And the Illawarra Steelers, they survive again. They love the sudden death rugby league. 
and the Roosters are out of the competition for 1996. The Steelers put their hands in the air, and why wouldn't they? At half time, I just thought it was going to be a, a Roosters dominated game where they'd come out and dominate the whole game. But the Steelers, to their credit, they came out and dominated the second half and came away with, a, with an excellent win 22 points to 18. And they've been walking the tightrope, Terry. Last week we saw them just to put Newcastle an extra time, and today they've come through and beaten the Roosters, who have led the reserve grade all season. Oh, strong, gonna give them the taste of steel. Oh.